Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 on our No Trail of Tears campaign. We're just going to dive right in. We are the Cherokee and our mission is to claim uh, the entire eastern coast. Well, the entire eastern section of North America, the USA, or what might someday be the USA. Probably not because we're going to own it though. So yes, this is what we're up to, and we are going on. So right now, we are waiting for favors to come in with the Chickata, um, so that, and the uh, Shawnee, so that we can go ahead and declare war. Now the Huron uh, will not join us yet. Um, now I'm not sure, I think they get Diplo Rep for something, but I'm not sure what. So I might, I don't know if I really want them in. Um, Jukata is actually getting pretty high because they've got high prestige. Um, the Kree were fabricating on us. That's fine. All right. So we are waiting for stuff. Well, let's see. Buildings. All of our buildings cost 50 gold. Um, so let's, well, those ones, yeah, they all cost 50. Hmm. I thought there was some that cost more. Guess not. It's probably just because we have, it's at one of our ideas, our traditions, isn't it? Cheaper buildings? Excuse me. No. We have a idea that is uh, cheaper buildings, not our traditions. So... We gotta wait till level five, which we're not gonna get for a long time. So we might as well forget about that. All right. So we need to beat up these guys soon. How are our favors coming? Uh, three favors. So we have a few more years to go. So building something might not be a bad idea. So local goods produced, uh, manpower, production efficiency, taxes. Taxes are always good. We get eight. Um, we can get an additional 0 .08 from those. Five goods produced, five. So we have two, so we have production efficiency and local goods produced, which do the same thing. Uh, Diplo rep would be good, could build that. Um, Longhouse gives us, ooh, a straight up plus one. The irrigation is actually better for now. Uh, cheaper advisors would be nice. And the enforce limit. So basically building any of these would be a good thing right now. Um, uh, fort, local defensiveness. These, these unique buildings can only be built in one province. So these would be very nice to get. Ooh, an event. Military div divided. The military divided. Opposing uh, factions in the military are advan blah, 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 advocating uh, different, t different tactics. Wow. Opposis opposing factions in the military are advocating different tactics. We need to back one of them to end this. So we get fort defense or we get siege ability. Well, we are going to be going to war soon. Siege ability would be nice for that. I think we'll take 10 years. We'll take siege ability. I want to be attacking. Um, I wonder how. Let's look in the ledger real quick and see how much the Cree have for military, shall we? Armies, sort by country name. So the Creek uh, have 6,000 infantry. So we are greatly outnumbered because. Um, our ally only has six. I wonder if we could have gotten these guys in instead. I probably should check to see which one was stronger before I allied them. Um, but either way, we should probably train a few more troops um, before people decide that war is it's a good time for war. We could wait. I could wait and save my money. I'll probably save my money a little bit more. Um... Could get eight in any of those. Let's see, what kind of land we've got? We got hills, hills, and mountains. 
So our capitals and mountains. Mountains have a 50% increase in development cost, which is not, not very nice. Um, hills have a 25, and I believe, yeah, we have a penalty because we're primitive. So we probably don't want to do development. We just died, so we lost stability, and we have a new heir. Uh, we have Chief Unsuakilia Chesakoi. Wow. Wow, his name. Yikes. Uh, Alright, we got yearly corruption decrease. That's great. Don't really need that. But okay. Uh, he's a 3-2-3 three, three leader, which is better than our previous one. Um... Boosting stability does cost more now, but we'll wait until we have uh, the negative 20% to do that. So, do I want... Which which of these do I want first? Construction cost would be nice, because then I can get the buildings up pretty quickly. Stability would be nice, because then I can boost stability cheaper and save points here. And tax modifier would be good for money again. Huh. It's hard to say. 12... Oh, they're negative. They have negative Diplo rep now. Okay. Um, you're still good. Alright. So we got five prestige. Uh, or, or we got seven prestige. We got five power projection. So we'll definitely declare a humiliate war. I can take money from these guys because they'll defend them. Still waiting on my favors. So you... Five favors, three favors. Yeah. It is it is very slow starting off in um in the new world. That's one thing that this game does have is it starts off very slow in the new world. It is focused over here in Europe, primarily, hence the name Europa Universalis. Um so starting in other places can be a bit slow. Um the new world up here more so than others. If we were a smaller tribe, we could do migration and stuff, which would add more, but we don't. We're not, unfortunately, so um, I wonder, what is my force limit? We have a 7 force limit, so our total force limit is smaller than the Chickasaw. How is, why is the Chickasaw so tall? He's, he's less development than I do, but yet his force limit is higher than mine. Um, what's his ideas? Because that could be it. Yeah, land force limit modifier. That's why. And cost to reduce war exhaustion. And you have foreign spy defense and unjustified demands. So he's going to be weaker. He's stronger. Um, we have the morale of armies. No, we don't. I thought, where do we, where was I thinking morale of armies? Oh, it's in here. In here. In our ideas. Which we're not going to get for a long time. So probably taking morale of armies first is going to be a good thing. So we'll take morale of armies. Uh, we'll take diplo rep um, for the native for the diplomatic ideas. So military morale of armies, um, diplo tech for er, so warrior societies, uh, smoke. Uh, chem smoke ceremonies. I can read eventually. Um, and then I'm not sure of which of these first three are going to be the most useful. Probably construction cost, because then we can start building buildings and for cheaper, and those buildings will help us uh, in the early game. So, uh, recall, recall both of those guys. Uh, the Huron, you won't have your own federation now, but I could still ally you. We'll ally you as a defensive def defense measure. Um, hopefully the Iroquois don't decide to butcher them, but we'll see. We're, we're hedging our bets on the Huron right now. So, let's see... So it is now the year uh, 1450, so that means the Renaissance is actually going to spawn soon, I believe. Renaissance, yep, 1450. Uh, we are not in Italy, so we cannot spawn that. Um, but that's going to make tech even more expensive. Um, let's see. Improve relations with the Shawnee. 
They're at three. They're at five. So I'm not sure if I want to wait for the Shawnee to hit full or not. Um, what can I do with Spy Network here? I don't think I can do much. What's this, what's this text say I can do? I can place merchants and I can uh, fabricate claims. Neither of those are incredibly useful. So we'll just, we'll, let's just, oh, actually, issue an embargo on um, the creek. We want to do that. He's a rival, so we want to do that. That will give us a, a little bit more influence. Maybe make us a little bit more money. More money is good. It is very good to have more money. Um, Go ahead and build a spy network on the creek now. Because why not? There's no, nothing else for us to do right now. Um, do I want to spend money on another advisor? I can't actually afford another advisor. Which is unfortunate. Alright. Um, so I need... I want to build up to my force limit before we go to war. Uh, ooh, we get trade efficiency and a decrease in spy defense. Trade expedition. Alright. Our people's... Our policy of free trade is allowing our merchants to expand our trade. Fantastic. Make me more money. Ooh. Uh, the honest merchants of the Cherokee. Okay, so... While many tribes are known for cheating... Um... For cheating countrymen and foreigners alike, lying about the quality of goods and making uh, uh, fraudulent promises, Cherokee merchants are well known by are well known to be trustworthy. If come if uh, competitive, if competitive, although th they may sometimes cut deals that benefit themselves and not their trade partners, they rarely lie or take bribes. This has made us the first choice for traders around the world. Fantastic. Why would we lie when we have the best offers? We get global trade power for 10 years. Nice. Very, very nice. More trade is always nice. Alright. You don't have any buildings yet. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Not that I can see. That's good. We don't want them to have buildings. We want us to have buildings. Ooh. Uh, the Renaissance have spawned. Does it say where they spawned? Even though we have no idea. Um, Renaissance have spawned in Genoa. This long, weirdly named province of Genoa has spawned, uh, has spawned an institution which will somehow make us, uh, make it more expensive for us to, uh, Acquire tech, acquire technology, and it is 1451. So one year, uh, so short, uh, so about a year uh, after it's supposed to. That's all right. We don't really care about tech. We're natives. What's technology? We use bows and arrows, and uh, wooden clubs sometimes too. All right. So let's see. We almost are... We, we are working on catching up. This advisor building would probably be really good to build. It will allow us... Um, it will allow us to have more uh, cheaper advisors, which will be really good. So... Um, oh, there's farmland down here. That has more possible buildings. So it's hard to say what's, what would be best to build. It's hard to say. Um, but we can go ahead and choose our first military uh, idea, native military idea, and we are going to go ahead and take the morale of armies. Nice. All right, how is our favors build up? All right, so we will have enough favors around 1454, uh, at least with one. I don't know. I don't know if we should wait for the Shawnee or not. It probably would be a good thing. So probably about 1453 um, would be a good time to build to get our units back up. So I think getting a little bit more money before that would be a good thing. So let's go ahead. Irrigation 
is our highest um, out of what we've got. So let's build irrigation um, up here in Tutelo. Get some irrigation in Tutelo. Uh, make the tobacco grow more. Grow the tobacco. All right. So there's that. That's good. So nobody's moving near us. I'd like these guys to move down. Where's how's our uh, culture look? So we are Cherokee. So we are the same as these guys up here. Cree. So we are not uh, the same as the Southerners that we want to eventually take over. Ooh, we can take the next one. Give me Diplo Rep because we cannot afford colonizing yet. Uh, and I can also take uh, this. Crap. You know what? I forgot. How much are you into building? Does it tell me the percentage? Because if it's less than 10%, we can get all of our money back, I think. Do I want to cancel it? Take. Let's cancel it. Um. Are you sure you wish to cancel irrigation um, for build for being built in 50% of investment will be returned. So we lose 25 ducats. That's not enough. That doesn't make it worth it. Buggers. All right. Well, we could take the tax modifier. That would just give us more money straight out um, and then take building costs next. But actually... Taking um, stability cost is probably going to be better. We'll take stability cost. Next time we'll take um, building cost. We'll take building cost next. And then and then that will uh, help us out. So, yeah. Forgot about that. My bad. My bad. So, oh, we have uh, admin skill 3. So, you know what? Since I took that, we need 47. So I think we'll boost stability, because then we can actually um, adapt uh, most of these. So this is yearly prestige, which we want. So I'll, uh, and this one is this one is what I want. Uh, more prestige and cheaper stab, which will be even nicer. We just have to have one stab for this. So we get to one stab. We take uh, religious sacrifices. Um, and then we take uh, institution vision quests. Institute introduce vision quests. Wow. Yeah, most of my reading gets done in my head and not uh, out loud. So yeah. All right. Well, we are almost there. This has been a very very slow first couple of episodes. We are on speed four. Um, let's actually boost speed five. Um. Probably waiting so that we can uh, get the Shawnee in would not be a bad thing. You're at 8 now. So a couple more years in January. You go up to 9. So we probably want to build up our army. Recall from the Shawnee. Uh, let's train up two more, uh, two more natives. Two more archers. So that we are at full force limit and preparing to, to fight uh, we can go ahead and bump stability up again and then we want to go ahead and uh, do religious sacrifices so now stability is going to be really cheap for us which will be very nice um, and then we can also we don't need the unrest right now so let's just go ahead and get some more prestige going. We'll get our prestige up even higher. All righty then. Um, so you are at 8. Uh, in January of next year, you should go up again. And we should be getting fairly close to uh, getting ready to attack. Alright. Um send our open diplomat over to you um but yes i think let's slow let's slow things down just a little bit um i think that is going to be it for this episode guys um we got our army built up so we are um 
actually aren't making that much less money, uh, but our building did finish. Our irrigation is up, so that uh, offsets our military units. How much do they cost? 0.1 ducats each. So, yep. Um, which actually isn't 100% true. No, that's that's the cost to build. What's maintenance? Um, it doesn't tell me maintenance. Um, base maintenance. Oh no, 10 ducats to build, 0.1 uh, per month to maintain. So, not actually that expensive. Um, actually, I think irrig our irrigation um, was giving us a 0.8, so that's pretty nice. Um, but anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Um, next episode, we will hopefully finally go to war with the creek and hopefully win. Um, if I don't win, that's going to be pretty bad, but yeah, we'll see. Um, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Um, hope you are liking the series. And yeah. Uh, yeah. Like I was saying, that's going to be for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Till then, guys. Bye bye.